hummingbird feeding is fun, but there's nothing like if they don't land on you, you don't get that energy upgrade. Sometimes it takes seconds, sometimes it takes hours. Feel the wings, it's like so magical. It's not the same. All right, did we pour me another shot? Mm. I love you. Bye. Oh, no, it's there. Cheers. It's there. Oh, cheers. cheers. Recently, I started working out again. I showed you a couple clips. I love Mexican food more than anyone you've probably ever met. Six carne asada tacos. I love Heidi. I love our son Gunner. Oh, not about eyeball. Dad's eyes already hurt. Oh. We obviously love crystals. Pink tourmaline. But my biggest obsession, as you can tell, yes, I'm addicted to hummingbirds. We found out we are having a kid that same day. These baby hummingbirds pretty much hatched by our front door. Good morning, little babies. Hi, little babies. That hummingbird I named Alan. After they rehabbed the hummingbird, they called me and they're like, would you like us to re-release it in your yard? They release Alan. Alan flies away and then flies right back to where Alan was born. And every day until we moved from Santa Barbara, I could go out and I could pet Alan. Oh, I need a new kiss. If I wanted to kiss Alan, I could, but you know, that's, we all know that's not appropriate just to kiss anything without their permission. You know, in the movie, like Apocalypto, where they're chopping off the heads and rolling them down the freaking hill, they were actually doing that to a hummingbird god. Oh, this is an interesting fact. Hummingbirds migrate by themselves. It's very relatable if you're a stay at home, hashtag freaking, you know. The amount of sugar they eat, it would be like, again, don't quote me, like 500 hamburgers. If it's not 500, it's 1500. It's so many hamburgers. It's water is boiled. Once the water is boiled, you turn it up. You dump your sugar in. Never buy the red dye nectar. That's an Illuminati conspiracy to kill all the hummingbirds. That's my theory because why else would they give you poison? You wanna go, you wanna go there? You wanna know about their natural predators? I'll tell you about them. Praying mantis. They bite the hummingbirds' heads off. Just bite it off, like the head is off. I actually got to murk out a praying mantis that has set up a trap next to the feeder. Let's just say that praying mantis is no longer on this earth. Cats, if you're a cat person, you know, obviously I love Taylor Swift. Make sure it's an indoor cat because when they go outdoors, they try to kill hummingbirds. I think some like hawks will maybe try to eat babies out of a nest, but it's not like cats and praying mantises. Since I have so many hummingbirds, then they fly their wings so fast, they're always moving energy. I don't like the idea of like stagnant energy. So if they're all flying around, I'm always thinking they're like keeping energy fresh. There's a lot of, uh, you know, what is it? Sun Tzu art of war type energy you can learn from hummingbirds. How to, you know, approach your nectar, how to build your nest. That's my... What? You gotta put your boots back on. So all of my hummingbirds that I was had a close relationship to currently are either not on this earth or in this dimension have moved along. Are you filming it? Oh my gosh, your dreams come true. I'm trying to build new relationships with some new hummingbirds right now. Like the most meditation I do is trying to stand like a statue for hours and get a hummingbird to land on me. It's, that's next level, so that's spiritually, that's where it's brought calmness and peace and patience into my life. I've had hummingbirds just on my hand, just chirping at me, and I know they're just talking to me, telling me how thankful they are to have me in their lives. So it's, it's great. <laughs>